Good evening, everyone. How are you all doing tonight? Good. If you're wondering why I'm holding this mic, it's actually going through the camera into our sound system, and so it's recorded good sound. It goes right into our computer, so it's, I'm not pretending. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to welcome you all. How many people are getting baptized tonight? 13? 12. 12. Wow. 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 wow, that's awesome. And a uh, very important day. Before um, we get started, I just wanted to share a quick testimony from what happened today. Uh, Trevor, uh, Trevor Mintz comes to our church, and uh, his daughter had a brain aneurysm. So a couple, few days ago, she had surgery, and they took off this side of the skull, and they have to let the swelling go down before they can put the, the cap back on. And so the other side of the brain started swelling, and so they had to go in today and remove this side of her brain, or the, the, not the brain, the, the skull. So, so as they were doing that, I asked, I asked Trevor how things went today. Well, he texted me and let me know he said she made it, and a miracle happened. The doctors have never seen before. Praise God! The doctors said they have never seen an inflamed brain go to normal in front of their eyes, and everything else is returning to normal as we speak. And I was not at the prayer meeting this morning, but Brent, Brent, you can go ahead and share like how what you prayed. Yeah. yeah, so there is, here, I'll just throw it on that thing. So I was there, and I know Michelle was there, Ben was there. Joni. Yeah, Joni, and, oh, uh, Aaron Erickson's mom. What's her name again? Sorry, I'm sorry. Linda. Linda, 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 I should have known that. Anyways, so we did, we just stopped, I got the text from Terry, and we were praying for something, I'm not sure at that time, but we stopped it, right? We stopped it, right? I said, okay, we're going to pray for this right now. I don't remember who prayed. I actually don't remember. I just remember one of us, whoever it was, prayed that in front of their eyes. Was it Joni? Yes. Okay. It said in front of their eyes that the swelling, like literally exactly what we prayed happened. And it was so cool. So everybody's pretty excited. And yeah. Like, yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That's so good. Amen. Praise the Lord. Continue to pray for it. Let's Amen. See. Yeah. Major surgery went on today. So. so anyway, the doctors were quite flabbergasted. Anyway. So you're all there's twelve people here getting baptized today and we want to congratulate you. Uh, it's a it's a it's a great moment in history, I believe. Baptism is so important. The early church they never, they never <coughs> preached one message without talking about baptism. Mm -hmm. Baptism is crucial. It's a, it's a, it's an act of obedience. Shelly and I gave our lives to the Lord when we were 29 years old, so we were, we were messed up. I was a form, former alcoholic and just had a really, I wasn't a good, nice person at all. And um, we gave our lives to Christ. We got born again September. Oh, Shelly got born again in July of '91. I got born again in September of '91, and it was a big change for us. And so we didn't know nothing. I didn't. Shelly knew some stuff about the Bible. Um, I didn't because I didn't even know how to read back then. Um, I had to learn how to read because I didn't do nothing in school. I wasn't a good student at all. I I I, I was I really struggled in school. So Shelly was reading her Bible one night, and she says, I read out after I got saved, she says, a few week, couple weeks maybe, and she says, we need to get baptized. And I said, why? And, uh, and she says, because it says so in the Bible. And so I, uh, I said, okay, if it says so, we're going to do so. So I called my pastor. We were going to a little Baptist church, the first Ukrainian Baptist church in High Saskatchewan. <laughs> That's what it was called. <laughs> a little town, a little church. I called the pastor and asked him uh, if we could get baptized. And so they had to interview us first. So they come and ask Shelley a bunch of questions. She could answer them, but I couldn't answer anything that they, they 
you said. I was, I didn't like talking in front of people. I was nervous, and uh, I couldn't answer any questions. And when they were like interrogating me, I want to get baptized. And, ah, and I couldn't answer any questions. So finally, I broke down, started crying. <laughs> I said. I was an alcoholic. I was suicidal for many years of my life. I tried committing suicide, and I'm alive today because of the mercy of God. Mm -hmm. I gave my life to Jesus, and I want to get baptized because it says in the Bible. Go, oh, okay. <laughs> so, so it was for me. It was like uh, it was scary, and they wanted us to give a testimony before I got baptized, but I couldn't. I couldn't speak in front of them. So I'm going to ask you guys today if you want to share something you can. If you don't, if you're not comfortable with it, I'll just ask you a couple of questions before we get out, guys. Um, so, so just be ready for that if you want to share something. It doesn't have to be a long speech. I know, I know this young fellow is ready to go right, yeah. right away. Right? <laughs> He's got it written out already. <laughs> and so that's exciting. So I just want to share a few scriptures and just teach a little bit on baptism. Baptism um, is in Colossians chapter 3, verse 27. It says, For we were buried with Christ when you were baptized, and with him you are raised to new life because you trusted the mighty power of God who raised Christ from the dead. So you go down in that water, it represents the death to the old self, and you come back up your new self. Amen? Who you are in Christ. You are in Christ Jesus. Very important to know that. So when you go down in that water, like I had all the sin and muck and mire of life that hindered me for so many years. When I went down that water, I, with that, that sin and that stuff stayed down there. And I come up with new creation. Amen? And so um, we, use, we like to do it in the river because the river just washes everything away. But what I say with the tank here is the sin stays in there and then we pump it out to the sewer. Amen. <laughs> when, when we're done today, all that water is going to be gone and all your old sin and all the old muck and all the old mire is going to be gone. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, so it's very important. That it's like a wash, a regeneration. Amen? See, even in the Old Testament, um, the world got so bad that God had to flood the earth and there was eight people that were left, Moses and his family. They survived because of their righteousness. They were righteous. And all the bad stuff got washed away, got baptized, mm -hmm. they got carried away. So it was a fresh start. So baptism really, is, what it means is like, you're gonna get a fresh start. Mm -hmm. It represents that. There's, there's, not, there's no salvation in that. Salvation's in Jesus. It's in the blood of Jesus. It's in the back. In the work of the cross, but it's an act of obedience. I know many people that got saved the same time Shelly and I did, and they never got baptized and they never went anywhere with their Christianity. Mm -hmm. They just kind of stayed where they are. It's just like it's, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they made a decision to go to heaven but never took it any further. I, I've always wanted to tell people about Jesus, to share Jesus with everybody. I love baptizing people because it gives us an opportunity to share of, of the good news of Jesus. In Romans chapter 6, verse 3 to 8, it says, Or have you forgotten that when we were joined with Christ Jesus in baptism, we were joined with him in his death? For when we died, we died and were buried with Christ by baptism. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we also may live new lives. Since we have been buried, uh, since we have been united with him in his death. We also will be raised to life as he was. And we know that our old sinful selves were crucified with Christ so that sin might lose its power in our lives that we are no longer slaves to sin. For when we died with Christ, we were set free from the power of sin. And since we died with Christ, we know we will also live with him. So it's, it's a dying to self, a dying to the old man. In Galatians chapter 3.27, it says, for as many of you as were baptized in Christ have now put on Christ. You get, you just, you get baptized into Christ. It's, it's really a unique, incredible, supernatural act that we're 
displaying in the natural today. Um, the, the word baptism, it, it, it comes from the process. There was a process that they used in the old days where they dyed cloth. They, see, my, my shirt is black, but if you had a white shirt and wanted to change it to black, you get black dye, you mix it in the water, then you take the white cloth, you put it in the water, and you swirl it around, and the cloth takes on the nature of the dye. So the dye gets into every fiber of the fabric. And when you pull it out, that white cloth now is black or blue or purple, whatever color that you use to dye it. And so that's what it's like with Christ. When you go down that water, you're being baptized into him. You're taking on his nature. Every fiber of your being is now beginning to um, illuminate Christ. As your life continues to change, it will continue to change. It's, it's a process of change. We just don't come, we're not going to come out of that water and become perfect people tonight. It would be nice if we could do that. <laughs> we still have to make some wise decisions. And, and remember, like, and the, a, a thing I like about baptism, when you look, you're getting baptized into water tonight. So every time you look at water, you remember that your relationship that you have with Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's like, even having a glass of water, oh, I'm, I'm united with Christ through his blood. I am baptized into Christ. I become like Christ. And that's what the whole process is. This is the beginning of a new process for you as you get baptized. Um, Galatians, Galatians chapter 3, verse 27 in the New Living Translation says, And all of you have been united with Christ in a baptism, have put on Christ, like putting on new clothes. Yeah? It's, it's like it's like the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you fit into him like a glove on a hand. So we get, I love that. Because we always say, let's ask Jesus into heart. I like to have the idea, let us, let's ask Jesus if we can get into his heart. That's where the safety is. Because we can't hold the whole Christ in our in our heart. So, so anyway. Um, first Peter, I'm not gonna be long, first Peter. 321 says, and the water is a picture of baptism which now saves you, not by removing dirt from your body, but as a response to God from a clean conscience. It is, it is effective because of the resurrection of Christ Jesus. You're doing this because you've got a clean conscience. Jesus has come into your life. He's forgiven your sins. He's washed you and cleansed you. And this is just a representation of what Christ did for you in the natural, and you're going to get affected in the spiritual, in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter 13, this is the last scripture. Matthew chapter 13, uh, verse 13 to 17 says, When Jesus went from Galilee to the Jordan River to be baptized by John, John tried to talk him out of it. I am the one who needs to be baptized by you, he said. So why are you coming to me? But Jesus said, it should be done, for we must carry out all that God requires. So John agreed to baptize him. I love that statement. To carry out what God requires. God requires baptism for our relationship to continue on with him. After this, after his baptism, as Jesus came up out of the water, the heavens were opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending on him like a dove and settling on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my dearly beloved Son who brings me great joy. Amen? Mm -hmm. So Jesus had to be baptized. Imagine that. The Son of God, he did, he, he did signs and wonders and miracles all the time. He changed people's lives and they needed to be baptized. And the reason he got baptized is because when he went down in that water, there was a change that happened. It went from the old covenant to the new. When Jesus come, he went into that water. He wasn't a sinner. He didn't have to get rid of his sins. He did not have one sin in his life. But when he went down that water, he, came, he became the great high priest for God, for all of his creation. He became the great high priest, the high priest, and the priest for us all. So the good news about that, too, is this, there's more to this than just representation of getting rid of your old sins. Than the new. When Jesus stepped out of that water, he stepped into his role as a great high priest, a priest unto God, a high priest, great high priest, high priest, and priest. Here's what we do when we get out of that water. 
we step out of that water, we are now priests unto God. Mm -hmm. He talks about it in Revelation, that we, we are priests unto God. What does a priest do? A priest serves God. And what, is, what, does, what does a priest do in order to serve God? You bring healing to hurting humanity. Mm -hmm. That's our responsibility. Mm -hmm. Our responsibility as priests unto God we begin to bring life to other people because of our relationship yeah. with Christ. So we begin to introduce people to Jesus Christ as we go on in our life. And guess what? After you do this today, you if you want to baptize somebody, you can baptize somebody. It's, it's in the Bible, the first day of the church, the first day of the church was birth on the day of Pentecost. There was 3,000 people got saved, 3,000 people got baptized. Not one man did that. Mm -hmm. People get baptized, okay, you're ready. Start baptizing. It's just what from person to person they didn't have big they didn't have big questions. They were just people said, I want to as soon as they got saved, as soon as they give their life to Jesus, mm -hmm. I want to get baptized, I want to get baptized now. When we build the church, there's gonna be a baptism flowing all the time. You're gonna be ready. Amen. 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 It's gonna be a flowing river through the church. Amen. <laughs> so so here we are. This is this is a big moment, and I, I want to thank you all for making the decision to do what you're doing today. Because I know it's not easy. It's not an easy decision in the world we live in. People, a lot of people think it's crazy, but Jesus thinks it's amazing. Yeah. So, so what we're going to do? We're going to baptize people, and I, this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to get. I'm going to go in the water, and whoever's first to come, we're going to start there. Anybody want to start first? No? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. No, he does. He Who wants to start first? Okay. Come here, buddy. Somebody's going to need to come and hold the mic. Because I want to. Really? You want to spill? I will. Okay, buddy. Is it cold? It's freezing. You didn't come to fly. Okay, buddy. Let's go. Let's look this way, because the camera's moving. Really so get on this side. What's your name, sir? Dom. You, I, you've given your life to Jesus, right? Amen. Yeah. And you love Jesus. Ready to get baptized? Okay, awesome. Can I put my nose? Yeah, you can. <laughs> I'm ready to sit down. I want you just to sit on your butt. Okay. Right now. Yep, right now. And then I'm going to baptize. You're going to hold your nose like this. And the other arm's going to go here. There. Okay. Upon your confession and your faith, as, as Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, I now baptize you into Christ. Can I pray for you? Father, if anybody's got a prophetic word that we see up here today, if you got a word to release to anybody that's getting baptized, I want you to be able to do that, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you see anything, you want to, you feel, you look at him now, he's baptized into Christ right now, in Jesus' name. So Father, I thank you for Dom. I thank you that he's a, he's a, a young man of God. Mm -hmm. And Father, I just pray for protection upon him. That you place legions of angels around him, protect him and guide him as he goes forth in his life. Father, I thank you for him. I pray you bless him spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, relationally, every area of his life, you'd be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The joy of the Lord is your strength, Dom. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Tell everybody your name. My name's Aspen. Aspen? Yeah. How old are you? Eleven. Eleven? Nice. Did you just give your life to Jesus recently? Yes. Yeah? Are you excited? Yes. You want to follow him? Yes. Yeah. All the days of your life? Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. You're ready. Yeah. Okay, let's sit down. Okay. Okay. Can you put this hand here? Aspen? Upon your confession and your faith is Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I now baptize you into Christ. Rip off a little. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you for asking. Lord, she's a person who is after your heart. And Father, I pray that you work powerfully in her life. Father, that you change her, transform her into your image really quickly, Lord. That she would preach the gospel. She would heal the sick. She would cast out demons and raise the dead. Father, I pray that you bless her also, every area of her life, spiritually, yes. physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, relationally, in every area in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 There's a song that keeps coming to my mind. It's like, I will fear no evil, for my God is with me. And that's what God wants to say to you. You don't have to fear evil, because God is always with you. It's cold. 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 Let me get started with Carmen. We are all thankful for her. Carmen, we all know everyone that has went through lots of bad things like smoking, drinking, and drug dealing, even trying to kill themselves. I know. I know. I tried. I tried so. I want to pray to God, dear God, to pray that, I pray that all are protected and can, can be better, have better lives and cherish this moment. Amen. So let's get to it. Amen. <laughs> Obviously, are you ready? Ready to go for this? Yes. Serve Jesus all your life? Yes. And you will? Yes. Amen. So sit down, let's get baptized. <laughs> Hallelujah. Aiden, <coughs> on your confession and your faith, as Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, I now baptize you into Christ. Father, I thank you that he has no fear and is already preaching and proclaiming the gospel as he spoke this last moment here. What a powerful word that you give him. So, Father, continue to give him powerful words and that he would lead people to Jesus at a very young age, starting like tomorrow, in Jesus' name. And Father, protect him, bless him, fill him with your Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Aiden, I just see um, how you give honor to leaders at this young age, and um, may you always have that in your heart all the time to always see. Um, how the Lord is working in leaders and how you will become a leader too yeah. because what you sow what you say is what comes back to you so be it good stuff it's always going to come back so I just pray that the God God moves upon your life in Jesus name I want to so um, I just pray right now for you that the gifts of God that God has given you will be in full operation in the name of Jesus. And I, I encourage you in Jesus' name to believe God for big things. Yeah. Believe big things. It says you can do more than you could ever ask, think, or imagine. So do it. Encourages you. God encourages you to dream big and speak big and talk big and act big. Amen. 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 Amen.
baptize you into Christ. She has for her leaders too, in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. So I pray, bless her spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, financially. Yeah, it's really strong financially, Lord. So you would really succeed in this life, mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. And relationally, bless her in every area of her life, in mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, Amen. I, uh, I just want to say, um, I really have this feeling that a lot of people have hurt you with their words, okay? Made you feel like maybe you're too much, but that's a lie. Um, God is giving you so many good gifts and so much energy and passion for a reason, and so I really believe that you're going to use that for, for God, okay? <laughs> yeah. Take my socks off, she says. Yeah. Ava's up next. Ava. I came with the It's right here. Right? Do you want to share anything? Yeah. Ava, how old are you? 12 years old? You've been coming to the youth group for a while? You're welcome. You've been coming to the youth group for a while? Just recently did your life. Couple of times. Just one Awesome. Let's see. You ready to do this? Ready to serve Jesus? Ready to become a priest unto God? Yeah, you bet. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Upon your confession in your faith, as Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. And I'll baptize you into Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord calls you blessed. And the Lord calls you fruitful. Your life will be blessed and your life will be fruitful. You'll have struggles and you'll have trials. And God will bring you through. Jesus said, in this world you'll have tribulation, but be of good cheer for I have overcome the world. You should be an overcomer. You should be a person that's of strong character in Jesus' name. Because he's, he's going to fill you with wisdom. He's going to fill you with understanding. So trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will direct your path. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Any words for Ava? Any words for Ava? I do. Ever since I met Ava, I've just seen her as such an influencer on this generation. I know that she's going to be a mighty woman of God and just a, a female warrior um, that's going to transform other 
young women's lives and I saw as she went under the water major generational curses and bondages being broken and that she's gonna just expediate and and really influence a generation the generations to come god bless you ava shall be your strength. Amen. The joy of the Lord shall be your motivator. Amen. The joy of the Lord shall give you life and give others life. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Kelvington, Foam Lake, and Wadena, or in Winyard. My birth parents are Earl of Quaijan and Jocelyn Nanaquaijan. Both have gone to be with God now. Bless their souls. They split up when I was 14 months old. My mother moved away. I started a family with another man. She took my brother, my deceased brother Waylon, with her. My, <clears throat> my father raised me with the help of, of my cookum, the late Helen Pukwetran. I lived with my father in Wadena where I attended school, from, pre from preschool to my early high school years. Growing up with my father, I watched him turn to alcohol and drugs to try to numb the pain of what his body and mind had been going through due to the breakup of my mother and father. My cookum, Helen, seen the down spiral of her son suffering from his addiction, alcohol and drugs. Every time she knew or heard of him drinking, she was always there to come rescue me from the weekend benders that he would occasionally have. 
I come from a family of Christians, and somewhere after my cook and Helen passed away in 2001, or two, in between 2001 and 2003, our family started to lose themselves in alcohol and drugs. They started dying off due to suicides, sicknesses, etc. All the pretty much chaos that's happening today, as we all see. Um, <clears throat> our family went into turmoil from then on, right up until right now. I am so thankful that my cook and Helen picked up the pieces from where my mother left me at 14 months old. Because without the skills and knowledge she instilled in me, I don't know where I would be today. I'd probably be dead. Thank you, Jesus. One phrase that I always stuck that always stuck to me from her was "Love one another." That I hold the closest to my heart. First God, though. Amen. <laughs> As in Scripture, John three eleven. Love one another. This is the message we all have been heard. We all have heard from the beginning. We should love one another. We must not act like Cain, who belonged to the evil one and killed his brother. And why did he kill him? Because Cain had been doing what was evil, and his brother had been doing what was righteous. So don't be surprised, dear brothers and sisters, if the world hates us. <clears throat> From growing up <clears throat> in an alcoholic home, I witnessed my father go through so much self-destruction, just to numb what was going on within him. He could have reached out to God, and Lord knows he tried, but the storms were obviously too much for him. He later died in a car accident while under the influence of drugs and alcohol in June of 2000. This is my last Father's Day with him. A few years prior to this tragic incident, accident in my life, I met an amazing man named Corey Reginald Blind of the George Garden First Nation, near my First Nation, Fishing Light First Nation. We met the summer of 1997, July of 1997 actually. My, my reserve was having a sports day and he come out for the summer activity that my First Nation was hosting. By this time I was already introduced to alcohol and drugs. And at that time, I had already experienced so much abuse sexually, physically, and emotionally, and mentally. I was ashamed, hurt, disgusted, and in, in, and in disbelief that a young girl could go through all of this. I tried to do everything right in a loving, respectful way, like my cook -um had raised me to be. I was scared to tell anyone because I didn't think they would believe me. Plus, they told me not to tell. I carried this with me, and it distracted me in school. It caused me to act out and hate the world for what I had went through. I was mad at my dad and my mom because I was their child and they were supposed to protect me. They abandoned me when I needed them the most. I then got the mental mentality, since they don't care, I didn't care. And that's where all my self-destruction of, of drugs and alcohol and just the down spiral of everything um, began in my life was when I was like 13. 13, year, 13 years old. So it's amazing to see all of you give your life to, to God. Because I was once in you guys' shoes. And you just need to reach out, talk to God, and he'll guide you. Amen. All of us. So when did you when did your life turn around? My life turned around. It it's always been there. I just like I said, I've been I've been distracted. And um like I got married in the year two thousand. I moved to George Bird First Nation with my husband and I've been with him there and then uh 
I just kind of drifted away from church. Every now and then I was able to go every now and then, but they didn't have much church really going on. So I kind of was more into raising my family and trying to provide a good life for them and making sure that they did not have to go through the things that I had went through and experienced as a child because that's when I experienced all of that, that's what made me turn the, the, the world right out. So I always focused on my children. My children were always number one in, in my life and I always made sure that I wanted them to have an education a good job, a beautiful home, you know, all of that, all those life, all of those dreams that I had as a child. And because I went off and I got distracted and the devil distracted me throughout a good, over half of my life. But, but the good news is you gave your life back. Jesus. Yes, amen. Well, and that is the it. best, yeah, yeah. best, you're, you're best decision ever. That yeah, best today. decision of my yeah. life. And amen. I encourage everybody else to, you know, do the same. Because yeah. without God, it's uh, your life will be chaos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you decide to go with um, the devil's work, you know, it's nothing. He's he's uh, he's a sabotager. He's going to ruin all everyone's lives. And I pray for everybody, and I love everybody. Thank you, Jesus. You guys are everybody your name. I, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, Ginger, my name is Ginger Blind. From George Ward First Nation. Married to George Ward First Nation. Originally from Fishing Lake First Nation. No, that's my home. <laughs> Come on, Ginger. Thank you, Jesus. Upon your confession and your faith, Ginger, as Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, I now baptize you into Christ. Father, I thank you that her history is under the blood in the name of Jesus. Father, that her past is no longer in your book. It's gone. It's vanished. Her sin has been separated from her as far as the east is from the west. And because of that, we know that she's a brand new creation in Christ. And the old has passed. The new has come. So, Father, let her have newness, fullness, all the days of her life. And she would be filled with the Holy Spirit all the time. And she would never even think about her past because you've done so much in her life right now. Mm -hmm. Continue to bless her, fill her to overflowing in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Looks like you're next. Hi. Got anything you want to say? Sing a song? Ready to you do this? Yeah. Ready to become a priest unto God for Jesus? Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, yeah, so you, I know you love Jesus. Yeah, but God has a plan for your life, mm -hmm. and it's going to be a plan for you to prosper and be in good health. Mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. So let's let's do this. Just maybe just put your feet up so I don't bend it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Upon your confession and your faith, as Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, and I'll baptize you into Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Bless her, Lord God. Fill her with the Holy Spirit. Father, draw her near to you, Lord God. Give her a heart to know you. Give your heart to, to dig deeper into the things of God and give her hunger for the word of God. Mm -hmm. She goes forward in Jesus' name. I pray. And I pray the Lord bless you spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, financially. 
relationally, every area of our life, you'd be blessed, and you'd be a blessing to everyone. Mm-hmm. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Any words? The prophets got silent. Did anybody have anything? Virginia? Sean? Can you guys? Stretch your gift. Let's wait for some of coming up here. Yeah. Uh, for Ginger, I just really feel like God just wants to see he's so proud of you for turning back yeah. to, to him and, and the past doesn't matter anymore. So, yeah. 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 Charm. Somebody's got it. I got charm. My beautiful little girl. <laughs> Ever since I very first connected eyes with you I knew that you're going to be a shapeshifter of this generation and that even in the silence that you change and transform people's lives just by entering into a room and that God has just given you this unbelievable gift of compassion and empathy that is going to work wonders in every area of your life and that you're going to transform so many children at school and just bring them to know the glory of God and thank you for making the commitment tonight. I'm super proud of you. This girl has the joy of the Lord on her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's going be a source of joy for me, especially the ones that have been down in the dumps. You're going to bring life to them in Jesus' name. Amen. So you ready to do this? Ready to be baptized into Christ? Yeah. Ready to be a priest unto God? Amen. Okay, let's do that. Upon your confession and your faith in Canada, as Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, I now baptize you into Christ. Fill her, fill her, fill her to overflowing in the name of Jesus. That she would be blessed in every area of your every area of your life and that. She would be a blessing to everybody she comes in contact with. And she'd be a game changer in people's lives yeah. that are struggling with depression. And the people would be broke free from the depression by the power of the word that she planted in her. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Supernatural healer. Oh man, it's so strong. Um, for Ginger too, I just felt like the Lord is saying what uh, what the enemy has stolen from you that he's bringing about that the Lord is bringing about sevenfold restoration. Amen. Amen. Okay. Okay, Tara here. We got three left. Yep. Daryl. Then. Are you going to be ready pretty soon? Okay. Are you going to pass? Okay. No, he said going to be last. Oh, going to be last. <laughs> the first she'll be last, and the right. last she'll be first. There you go. Okay, Tara's got some words to share. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I just want to welcome everyone here tonight. I just wanted to read um, Revelation 12.11. It says, and they, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives to the death. Um, I wasn't actually expecting to get baptized again. Um, There's just so much power with your testimony about how far God has brought you. And um, 
I just wanted to share just a little, um, just a little, a little bit of my testimony. Um, yeah, I need tissue. Uh, so last year, I got baptized. Um, and like I got massive deliverance last summer. And, um, and, uh, you know, I got set free from ungodly soul ties and just like, it's from a lot. And, um, you know, I hopped into um, a relationship after I got baptized last summer and that, and like I pretty much got, like I got dumb like two weeks later and I just really, really feel I need to confess this right now just before, like I go into the water just to mm. just get totally washed from my, like from this past. Mm -hmm. um, Amen. You know, but anyways, after that happened, you know, it really took a toll on me. Um, I know people say, you know, get over it, it's the past, but that's just something that, it was really traumatic. So I went back into some um, really heavy into drugs and alcohol after that happened. And literally, I would just show up to the church just drunk. And like this time last year, you know, and... You know, I felt the Lord just really, over this past year, it brought me so much closer to the Lord than I've ever experienced in my whole life. And he just broke off so much shame and guilt, and he told me, Tara, forgive yourself. I know we also, we, we, you know, it says in the word to forgive people who've hurt us. But sometimes we, we forget to forgive ourselves, you know, for, like, oh, we should have knew better, like, and, but, you know, God turned it around for his glory because this past year, like, I experienced God in such a mighty way that I've never have before. You know, when it says, like, you're so desperate for him. You know, you can come to church all you want and, you know, but I just, I'm so just passionate about people just having revelation of who God is because we can hear people say, like, oh, yeah, God, this and that. But until you experience the true living God in such a desperation, that he's just so mighty and he, no matter what you've gone through, you know, and, you know, this past Saturday, since January 25th, I rededicated my life back to the Lord that night when Brother Wade Sanderson, he was preaching that night and I've been sober 10 months now. Amen. And, um, Like, you know, just when you're really going through stuff, sometimes people say, yeah, just get over it, it's the past. But sometimes when God walks you through those things, especially, like, when it comes to your heart and, like, your soul, you know, some things, like, it just, it's not that easy just to get over. Mm -hmm. But, you know, God's so merciful. And I just, and I want to thank my son, Noah, because... Just so many times just being home with just me, him, and our hamster Nacho. Like, he's prayed for me so much. Yeah. And you just, I just love my son a lot. And anyways, but I felt like I just really need to just get, like, that testimony out. Because the devil doesn't like when you share your testimony, you know. But I just want to give Jesus all the praise, the glory, and honor. And this is for Pastor Terry Shelley. And it's for everyone here. And yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hey, Tara. One thing I've always respected with you is the sick. The sick? <laughs> Don't draw me. <laughs> you've always been a fighter and you've always come back. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, I love that because a lot of people run away and don't come back, but you kept fighting, kept coming back. And the Lord's going to honor you your life. Amen. Upon your confession and your faith, Tara, as Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior, I will baptize you into Christ. <laughs> Father, I thank you that you're 
filling her right now. Thank you, Father. You're removing her pain. You're healing her soul right now in yeah. Jesus' name. You broke every soul tie yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Father, I thank you that you honored her and strengthened her. And you continue to strengthen her. Continue to bless her. Father, I just pray she has a breakthrough in every area of her life. Amen. This year in particular in finances. Amen. In Jesus' name. Jesus. So, Father, I thank you for, for loving her and honoring her and blessing her in your Father. precious name. In Jesus' name. Look at that. Grandma, just hold on. Amen. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Friend. <laughs> I don't, sometimes I don't know what I'm going to say, but. Oh, man. Father, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I. Re oh, Jesus. I, I release a breakthrough anointing into your life right now in the name of Jesus. A breakthrough anointing, Tara. Take it right now in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough anointing in every area of your life right now. God, break it through for you. In the name of Jesus. Breakthrough, Tara. Come on now. Reba sondo reba sande. Reba sone kio so korende. Raka se ne daba roho so te. Raka te ne ha se ke daba kate. <laughs> John 1 uh, 2 it says I pray that you will prosper in every way and that you continually enjoy good health just as your soul is prospering so Lord I just thank you Father for what you're doing in Tara's life, God, and what you will continue to do until she sees you face to face. And Lord, I give you praise and we give you honor for how you have changed the heart. Lord, only you can change a broken heart, Father, and revive her. So may her soul have, have duminous do, power Amen. on her life in Jesus' name. Excellent. Excellent of soul in wow. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm 62 years old, so I, I started to a testimony, we would be here all day. <laughs> but I do, uh, first of all, I want to say to you guys, um, you young people, how blessed you are tonight. Mm -hmm. They have had karma, they have had the experience of baptism at your own decision at your age. Yeah. Because I didn't have that. So my life may have been, you know, I'm not regretting my life because it's, I'm here where I am right now with Jesus. And, uh, but you are so blessed to have this moment in time. And don't let it go. Because anytime you want, you get into a place and there's going to be times the devil's going to come after you. You guys know that. And uh, just remember this night. Remember your friendship. And remember Jesus is always there for you. Okay? Amen. So uh, I just, just wanted to say that. Second of all, um, this is my second baptism. I was baptized two and a half years ago. And that's how I got to know Brent. Um, I saved him out of the forest. And uh, <laughs> we got to know and Terry. And Terry there too. And uh, Terry will say the first time that he prayed over me, he was trying to slay me. I looked over another pastor and said, what is the matter with this guy? Because I was not, uh, I didn't know. And, I, and uh, so it's been two and a half years. And um, I uh, never give a testimony that day. So I'm just going to read a passage from uh, Luke uh, 9, 24 and 25. It says, for whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me will save it. And what good is it for someone to gain the whole world? and you lose and forfeit their very self. And I have been there. So I was, when I was your age, I never had the chance to be baptized in Jesus, but I knew Jesus because of my grandmother and uh, my uncle, who took me to the Lutheran church once in a while, but not, not very often. And I always saw Jesus around me, but I didn't grow up as a Christian. And uh, I was favored by, by God for so long, and I had everything, and I lost it all. Because I didn't recognize it, and I, what did I do? I lost, uh, I lost it all, and I'll save it tonight. And I, and I, I'm here tonight because 
I didn't know I was going to say this, but I was scared to say that I should say this because I've seen you kids. And I and I and I do want to say that uh, I want the to experience the full kingdom of God Amen. and the Holy Spirit to come upon me tonight. I pray that Jesus and I'll have an encounter because I haven't had the encounters that people talk about. And I I yearn for that and I've been praying for that for two and a half years. And it's not like it's been perfect for two and a half years, and it's not like it's been easy. But it's been everything it says in there. I've been to everything I've been to. And um, uh, it, uh, I, can gain it, I can gain it back, but I only want to gain it back with Jesus and being a servant of his. And so I would ask for the blessing of, uh, of him tonight. Amen. Amen. I've seen Daryl get baptized was called Dubois baptized them and he just threw them in the lake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll catch them. You guys see them in the Oh, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'll break your legs. Oh, I got it. They're pretty flexible. Yeah, not that flexible. Oh, no, I know. Sorry. I'm holding you down for 10 seconds. <laughs> Rules here. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Daryl, upon your confession and your faith, it's Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. I now baptize you into Christ. Father, I thank you for Daryl. Father, you may have lost some material stuff, but he's gained the eternal stuff. Yeah, Jesus amen. Eternal life in Christ Jesus. Father, I pray that you restore everything that was stolen from him and up to seven times, Lord God, in Jesus' name. The enemy, we, come, we caught you stealing. You're a thief, and we command you to pay back now what you stole from Daryl. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. In Jesus' name, I bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah.